Hello everyone, it is Millie Bobby Brown on the movie Godzilla. Say hi to our great director, Michael Doherty. Who are you? I don't know. Part of my process for writing a script often involves doing screen grabs or image searches of actors or actresses who you think would be great in the role. And Millie Bobby Brown was the person we thought of for Madison when we were doing previous animation. I told the previous animators, like, yeah, use Millie Bobby Brown for Stranger Things. And then it was finally brought up, well, why don't we just see if she actually wants to play the role? And I had a great meeting with her and showed her the previs, which was fun, because I don't think she'd ever actually seen a 3D animated version of herself. And it was a very cool scene where she faces off against Ghidorah one-on-one. -on -one. I've seen a lot of previs from Michael, and he's shown me so much that I just cannot wait. I mean, I'm gonna be 15 when the movie comes out. I'm 13 right now, so my 15-year-old self, I hope you enjoyed the movie. <laughs> Talking to her outside of being Madison as a person, Millie, it's, it's disarming how put together she is and cool and thoughtful of a person. It's incredible and it's inspiring and it's also really makes you feel bad about yourself because you see a 13-year-old kid, a kid, and she's got more confidence and point of view than most adults that I know. Millie Bobby Brown is a 41-year-old woman trapped in that body. I haven't seen Stranger Things. I'm sorry, Millie. I haven't seen Stranger Things, so I didn't know what she looked like. And I just saw this, like, little person. She was speaking so clear. And it was just like, there's no way this chick's 13. And yeah, she's like at least 37, at least 37. Come on, let's go find some monsters. My Millie monkey, she's a goofball of the highest order. And we connected right away. I mean, we have no choice but to connect with a film like this, unless you really care about the nucleus of this family and you root for them. And you see the love and you experience that. So, uh, of course, we, you know, I mean, just naturally, she and I, personality-wise, connect. But she's like, you know, we spend our time just goofing off on set and harmonizing to Adele or Little Einsteins, you know, we'll be, when we'll be fighting over who takes the melody and who finds the harmony. We sing children's songs. <laughs> You'll find us singing like Little Einsteins and when we're on like the uh, Osprey, she's singing. We're singing Little Einsteins in the scene, yeah. You know, she's always pranking me on set and you know, there's not a day that goes by where I don't open the fridge and a thousand colorful balls pop out or you know, she's, she's, a, she's a little rascal. And I just love that energy on a set. Uh, I know. I I figure out what the hell I say, well, that might stop. <laughs> Michael Doherty has made me a paranoid person, you guys. Just I'm like, oh, I'm somebody's just, gonna prank me. This is how, this is how, did you see this though? I'm like so scared, because people, I know every day people scared. She's restored my faith in humanity to a certain degree, because she's, she's just so excited and we had a special connection over our mutual love of nature and animals, which is a very big recurring theme in the film. What I really admire about her is her strength, her intelligence. They are the traits that I was looking for in the character, and thankfully the actual actress embodies all of those things. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>